it should be every scientist's job to speak out when he sees something happening that he understands scientifically and that the, the world isn't taking note of. That's what all scientists should do, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> I realized at some point that the environmental movement has failed. They've had 50 years to try to get governments and com companies moving in the right direction, and they have failed. Um, and partly they've been co-opted. I'm told that the Sierra Club is controlled in part by the meat industry, and so they can't talk about that particular uh, issue, industrial farming, because they will be stepping on the toes of one of their major funders. That all aside, that the environmental movement has not succeeded, mm -hmm. that we need a new movement, and that movement is the ecological movement. And it's only a short step conceptually from environment where you're talking about air pollution or another group is talking about ocean life and another group is talking about plastics and recycling and, and food production and taking all of those narrow environmental slices and putting them back together into the whole system view of we're dealing with an ecology and and people have to get that and it's not being taught to our students anyhow so we are trying to build an environmental movement into an ecological movement um, and uh, that's quite a feat but I think we're coming at the right time in history and I think actually Donald Trump uh, will probably help us he'll be the wind yeah. in our sails well I agree with you that that we need to go way beyond what what the uh, the environmental movement has done. I mean, they, you know, they mean well, but they're always several steps behind because most of them are, are scientists who are working in government and university labs where they're, they're doing their research and they need to keep their heads down for advancing yeah. years. Yeah. And, and they themselves would rather just get their research done and published and, and they don't want to, to get involved in controversy. And you put them all together I and mean, it's a kind of a, a mass of, uh, uh, that could, could want far more and in a way has betrayed mankind because it should be every scientist's job to speak out when he sees something happening that he understands scientifically and that the, the world isn't taking note of. That's what, that's what all scientists should do, as far as I'm concerned, but it's not what they most of them do. Most of them don't feel that they should get involved. So you're crying to a community, a lot of whom don't really want to hear, and I find that in Britain very much, uh, the kind of that, that problem. So what has to go beyond, even beyond the environmental movement, because the environmental movement is itself dragging along behind reality. Yeah.